I got a call from my general manager the night before, Herndon Hastings. He goes, Tan, I've got some real bad news. I was late. I'm surprised that he was calling. And he said, we're blowing up KY at midnight. No more. The station's gone. And I was just stunned. I couldn't believe it. So I set up that night with my husband, Jeff. And we sat in the basement. And I remember listening. Oh, it makes me kind of sad now. The telephone rang about 9.05. And it was Hernan Hasty, the general manager, and he said, uh, Larry, you don't have to come into work tomorrow because we don't need you anymore. And I went, what do you mean you don't need me anymore? He says, well, uh, a different company bought us, and they're going to pull the plug on 102. And I was like, maybe this is payback for all those candid phone calls we made. They can't do this. They can't do this to the hippo. They can't do this to the KY fan. This is KY 102. It was horrible. I remember calling the people who pulled the plug. I forget, you know, some corporation back east. And I said, you've got it all wrong. You don't understand the KY listeners. They love this station. KY is KY. I can't define it, but it's not just any radio station. I said, if you will fly to town, I'll have a crowd meet you at the airport. I will show you the power of KY. Come to town. Give us another chance. And he said, no, research shows us that blah, 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 screw the research.